Hello everybody and welcome to Minecraft Bedrock Let's Play Episode 1 here on the Jimbo Games channel. Today, uh, we need to get ourselves some tools and shelter. Uh, as you can see, I'm already leveled up a little bit. Uh, this is not a new world. I've actually played on this world for a while now with some friends. If you look at the top left corner, you can see my position is pretty far away from spawn. What I did is I dropped all my diamond gear, my diamond tools, and everything I had, and I walked eh, 12,000 blocks away from where my place is, and I'm starting fresh. So what we're going to do is get ourselves some food, because currently I have nothing. And we need to get ourselves some tools, but I think food's first. So let's run back to that village and see if we can find some carrots or potatoes. I will be right back. Ignore my health, but uh, I was exploring this village here, and I was about to head back. I stole a bed, I got a couple things of food, found a golden apple, which is really nice. But um, I thought this skeleton was another player. And I am on a realm, but nobody else is online right now. So that was really strange. I was like, who is on right now? And how did they find me? Because I'm nowhere near anybody else. That freaked me out for a second. Anyway, we're going to head back. Uh, we just grabbed some food and I found a stone sword. If my schedule's on point, today is New Year's. January 1st, 2020, guys. So, Happy New Year. Okay, here we are. So, we're going to set up... We're going to set up a base camp. So, let this down. Let's put this here. Okay, made myself some stone tools. Um, and we need to get ourselves a farm. Let's place this other chest down. We need to find ourselves food, a good amount of food. And the best way to start is to make a wheat farm. And so let's get that going. We need to get a bucket, so I'm going to get some iron, and I'm going to get a bucket. I will be right back. Doing a little caving in the mountains here. Or, oh, like a bee. I think there's a beehive, like, right here, yeah. Anyway, we're doing a little caving in the mountains here. Looking for iron. This guys, um, we got a good chunk of iron and a lot of coal. Uh, we made a bucket already. Um, we got ourselves an iron pick, which I'm going to grab some more stone here. Because we need to make another furnace or two. Can never have enough furnaces. Guys, I realized uh, we really didn't need this bucket to start the farm. Because there's water right here, and this is where I'm building the farm. Now, I could have just, you know, built four out and then had it extend. I have the bucket, so I might as well do it the right way the way I always do it. Three, four, we actually, you know what? We're going to put the farm over here because the bees will pollinate the farm. And so we're not going to put it down there like I originally planned. We will put it over here. Okay guys, so we got the basic farm set up. Nine by nine square. And to the addition of it, we've added this extra layer on the outside. Now that is for us to add flowers every so often. That way we could have bees come around here and pollinate our flowers for us. So we'll place just a few flowers around. That should be good. And then we will plant some crops. Hmm, I'm curious, can you put a pressure plate on top of a composter? Right of wood. I think I have more at the chest. Oh, you can. Hey, that looks pretty good, actually. And you can still go inside. Hmm, weird. Okay, I like that. I think I'm going to go around and kill some animals, get some food, and go mining. I will be back when we get some iron going. See you guys. 
Hey guys, got back from mining a little while. I did some organizing and a little straightening up over here. It was kind of a mess. Now, we're not going to stay out here forever, obviously, but I just wanted to clean this up a little bit because it was kind of getting unorganized. So we got here, we got some blocks. Over here, we got ores and tools. And up here, we got just food and mob drops. Just, you know, the stuff that we're starting out with. And then we did quite a bit of mining. We got some good stuff. Quite a bit of iron. Which is still cooking. We got what's it, 17 more. Our next project is to get the layout of the house so that maybe a little terraforming going. We also did, I don't know if you saw that, we got some diamonds, which I'm going to use to make one diamond pickaxe and one enchanting table. So I'm going to need a book and four obsidian. Okay, so we're going to have to go get ourselves some obsidian here in a second. Awesome. Check it out. We got ourselves an anvil. Now we just need our enchanting table. We can actually put, what is this, blacks protection? Boom, look at that. A little bit of protection already. Already getting somewhere. That's awesome. That's awesome, guys. Okay, guys, we made ourselves a campfire, and one of the blocks I want to start collecting is the honeycomb block. And so... Only one? That's alright. Usually I think you get more out of that, but that's okay. Let's see what our farm's doing over here. Hey, not too bad. I've been running over here every once in a while and replanting and breaking it up. So we're getting somewhere. And now our next project is to terraform this flatter. So I'm going to terraform that real quick. We got ourselves a wandering trader. Now these guys always have the worst trades reduce your prices or get better items come on okay finally i think that took about four or five iron shovels yeah i think it was four just to dig through all of that dirt it wasn't even a lot of dirt it was just one big slab layer right here you could see where the grass hasn't grown in yet but we're gonna build our house about this area so i'm just kind of straightening it up getting rid of the grass Leveling it out, making sure I have a big enough area to build. Okay. We've terraformed this whole area. Got rid of some of the grass. Now, I'm going to jump into a creative world here in a second and start coming up with design, color palette, shape, and size of the base. Okay guys, so we got a basic layout of one part of our main base. I think I'm going to do four of these. And I'm still trying to figure out what material I want to use. For now, I'm just using oak because it's what I have the most of other than dirt. We're going for a hexagon shape. And honestly, this is big enough now to be a pretty decent house. But I'm thinking about doing another four. One in each corner and then having this little diamond shape here in the middle. For who knows what. We haven't decided to lay out. We haven't figured out which rooms are going to be for what. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this Let's Play episode. If you enjoyed this episode, like the video down below. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you guys have a great New Year's. I'll see you around.